WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 119, NASDAQ up 54, S&P's up 25. Gold, gold contract down $12.30, trading at 1993 an ounce. We have silver up 43 cents, $22.96 an ounce. Late sweet crude up uh, down $1.12, $81.19 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 10-year note, down two ticks, 106.04, 30-year up three at 109.13 and King Dollar. King Dollar's caught a bit here. Now, let's get really interesting so you get divergence here. King Dollar's up 547 ticks, 106.666. Euro's at 105, yen's at 151, British pounds at 121 to one US dollar. We get over and take a look at the market wants higher price. We're in window dressing. You had the, you know, come off the lows yesterday. That being said, but <laughs> this volume is anemic. So, you know, we'll see whether this thing Get straightened out tomorrow because you get the Fed meeting tomorrow. It's only a one-day meeting. They're going to come out with the 2 o'clock in the afternoon, come out with the statement, 2.30, come out with the news conference. But you can see, you know, the contraction is pretty dramatic. Right now, the SPY is up 240, 274. And you can see we, you know, when we made the bottom, we made the bottom with 107 million shares. Yesterday, you did 85, and we're only at 48. So that means we're only doing maybe 68 today. And the queues, same type of setup inside the queues. You know, actually, no. And the queues, this, the queues could get volume out here today. Um, what we did with the queues, yesterday we had, yeah, yesterday we had 55 million. You could, we could do 55 million out here today. We're at 37 right now. Notes and bonds. We go take a look at the note and bond market. This still continues to go sideways. There's no sellers down at these levels, though. That's the bottom line. And more than likely, this is also waiting for the Fed tomorrow. So you can see that you're down one tick. You're only down 1.6 million contracts inside the 10. You know, that's just the sideways move. We've been going sideways now since we hit that bottom for basically nine trading days. We go into the gold market. We take a look at gold. That's the dollar went a little bit higher today. You had gold pull back, but gold's in its range. It's only 1 198,000 contracts. Hasn't even got to the low that was established two, day, two days ago. So that's still saying that wants higher price. Then we go into the dollar. So the dollar is hanging tough up at these levels, man. You know, the bottom line is that you gave it up on price yesterday. You come right back today, you know. And, you know, so we'll see where this baby shakes out. You know, we've been consolidating up at these levels now for about uh, three weeks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills.